All right, so we are back with some more sleeping dogs, and uh, I guess I'm gonna go to sleep. No, that doesn't make any sense. Things happen after you go to sleep, so let me do that. Seems like the most logical thing to do. And then we'll continue with the story, so. All right, let's see. Why is it saying you sleep in your closet? What the hell? Do you have to change, really? Doesn't make any sense. No, everything's good. I'm good. I don't want to change anything yet. Everything is, is the way I like it, so. Let's just go to the bed and sleep and see if that'll trigger any more. Oh, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> Sleeping with those shades again. I just got a text from, uh, who was that? Yeah. Well, you ready to step into the big time? Got a celebrity gig for you, meet me. Okay. Well, I guess, uh... I can't call anybody else except those two. That doesn't make any sense. She said call her, but I can't. So that defeats the whole purpose. Return the Jade statue. Let me do that really quick. Yeah, let me do that. I just whipped out my gun. Because I'm crazy. I don't even need it. Usually when a mission starts, you can usually just get one, so. Uh, let's go ahead and just get a car. And look at this guy. Ballsy enough to stand in the street like that. If I don't find a good car on the way to this little parking area, I can take this guy's motorcycle. He's in a business suit. What the fuck? What's he doing in a scooter like that? People keep telling me to buy a car. I like this car, you know? Accept it, yes. Oh shit, already a scratch. Get them face palms ready, guys. Got your left elbow on your desk, sitting there with your, your hand on your face. Alright, let's do this one really quick and then... I always say really quick. Like it's not going to take me a whole video to get there. I'm going to get killed by the cops, but something's going to happen. Oh, that's a nice car. This car's not bad. It has its moments. Wait a minute. This is just like the one I saw that last video. I don't understand why it is that, uh... When you hurry to get somewhere, it can't seem to stay in the right lane. Sorry, that. It sounds like it could copyright. Here's a song by The Who. No, we don't want that copyright. I'll go slow. Look at this guy. He's got a nice car. So I just I just recently started doing different thumbnails for this series just to see if if maybe it'll make each one like more personalized. I don't know, it seemed to get a little bit more response, so we'll see. I'll keep doing it for a little bit. I did the same thing with uh what the hell? The Silent Hill Downpour and a few other series. Like the first 20 or 30 parts, people clicking away. Because they're following the thumbnail, but I figured after a while people are subscribed and it really doesn't matter. Just to maybe get some new people in there. New new faces, maybe something where people can click it. I saw the shrine. Alright. Sin City, no. Oh, shit. Ninja Tomb. I thought I said Ninja Turtle. I was like, what? God, I'm hauling ass now, right? Oh, come on. Go through, go through. That is insane. I don't understand how they do that in the game. I understand you're like hitting your e-brake, uh, but it doesn't... You don't go to the side with that. Oh, there we go. So basically I gotta go here, they're gonna teach me something new. So that's gonna be what's hot. Break a few legs. There we go. The boar. An important part of the collection. Ever think about going back to the States, I mean? It didn't work the first time. Why would it again? And the past goes with you wherever you go. 
So you will confront the past rather than run from it. Damn straight. I wonder, is the past something we can defeat? Or is it something we simply come to terms with? What would you like to learn? All right, we got the triad upgrade and the melee upgrade. Uh, with the melee upgrade, uh, stun grapple follow-up. Follow-up a strike on stunned opponent. What? The arm break. Oh, man, it just... Stun strike follow-up. I should probably get that before, you know? I got to do the other upgrade in a minute. So we'll go... Nope, that's too much. Hang on. That doesn't make any sense. Hang on. One, two. Oh, shit. That is so sick. They kicked the shit out of that guy. Fuck your legs. Def okay. Have you no pride, Ming? Dojo ass whooping. That leg break. I actually read something about the leg break. It's funny because, and oh, I can get used to that. It's like they were talking about the leg break. How it's just it, you're completely just disrupting that. Stop by again if you find one of my steps. But they just walk away from it. All right, that was easy. Basically, anytime you get a shrine, you're supposed to go and do that. What the hell? Hang on. Anytime it pops it up, there's not enough time to do the upgrades. So, let's see. We got this one. Can I buy that? Perform a rising kick when knocked down. Melee weapon boost? I kind of prefer the hand-to-hand -hand stuff. Important visitor. No, I'm not going to do any more martial art club things unless you guys really want to. I, because it's the same thing over and over. I don't want to take up a whole video again. That's kind of ridiculous. Then I lost. What the hell? I'm going to ride to this. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> hopefully we get at least some of this mission in this video. God, it's a long ways away. We're hauling ass. So if, as long as I can get on the highway. You're going to be Interstate, whatever it's called in this game. I just missed it the spot. There's so many different ways to get to everywhere that I really don't like following this. I like kind of going in the general direction. But... Coming through. Ooh. I always want to hit a ramp on the stairs and stuff. I want the green car back here. Did you see that? Oh, no. Beer factory. I'm surprised none of these videos I've had problems with. I thought, sure enough, with this series having like like any kind of Grand Theft Auto game, I'm so scared to play on my channel. Next up comes Echo Beach from Martha and the Muffins, followed by XTC's groundbreaking. Wait for it. There we go. Okay, yeah, we're like halfway there now, so that's good. And we're God, we're getting there quick too. I might forget on this uh, little highway area. It'd be, be a straight shot. Oh. Still going straight. Forget last year's. All right. So apparently, I this is probably going to be one of the longest series I've had, uh, besides Saints Row the Third, maybe. I don't even know. Maybe longer than that. We'll see what happens. I'm not even purposely trying to drag it out. It's just a really long game. Well, well, well. Look who decided to join us. Yeah, it's good to see you. Come on in. <laughs> you sure you don't want to fuck a little before you start? It's no problem at all. I'll just have a swing by your hotel on the way to the studio. <laughs> nah, man, I'm good. But we could do a photo shoot or whatever, and look, I'm sure it'd be fun and all, but that's not why I'm here, dude. Ah, you don't know what you're missing. This baby will fuck you in a way your wife never could. Sonny, this is Wei. Wei? The infamous Sonny Wo. <laughs> That's me. Infamous and notorious. Glad you could come by. Ricky's told me all about you. This 
is king. What's good? He's producing Vivian Liu's next big hit. Yeah, it's gonna be hot, man. Way here's the real deal. A bona fide tribe killer from the streets. Cleavers, guns, castrations, whatever you want. Okay. <laughs> Way, why don't you take King out on the town and show him around? Yeah, anytime. It's like one big playground, man. Nothing's off limits. You want to pick up some girls, get nasty, done. And with Wei, no one will bother you. Nobody fucks with Sun on Yi. Yeah, well, I mean, actually, that sounds all right. If you don't mind showing me around. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I wish I could go with you players. But business calls. All right, cool, man. Yo, it was real nice to meet you, Sonny. Let's hit the streets. Let's do it. Ricky, listen to this. I've been thinking. We need to get her a movie role of some sort. Hey, I think we'll start at the K-Bar. The VIP room should give us what we need. Hey, it's your town, man. And so you producing for Sonny? Yeah. Just this one time. Man, that guy's a piece of work. He's a fucking clown, you ask me. <laughs> I'm glad you said it first. Buddy does good business, makes everyone a lot of money. But as far as his personality goes... Uh -huh. <laughs> good to know we're on the same page. Fact is, you know, I got some other business to discuss. But I don't think my partners back in the States will want to be in bed with that guy. What kind of business? I got friends. Guys I grew up with. They got a real good import and retail thing going. Maybe they could use a good Hong Kong app. Access to that good Asian product, you feel me? It's the reason I took the producing gig was I heard Vivian and her label had connections. Who they are? To me. Uh, <laughs> well then, I guess this is gonna be like one of them old school business meetings. You know, where you show me around town and you try to figure out if we're a good fit. <laughs> K-Bar.